Hey guys, welcome to the Field of 68 YouTube channel. If you like what you see here, hit that subscribe button and you'll get more college basketball content just like this. It's very <laughs> impressive stuff. Hey, speaking of Kansas, guys, let's talk about my former franchise center who is now Kansas Jayhawks star wow. player next season, Hunter Dickinson. Uh, he spurned a lot of people here. Surprise, surprise. Maryland thought he was going to come. Kentucky thought they had a chance. I don't know that Michigan thought they had a chance, but he was doing some ominous shit late that made me think there was a chance he was going to return. He's in Lawrence. Uh, I want to ask you about Kentucky. What does Kentucky do now that Hunter Dickinson is not going to be their center next year? Is it Oscar Shibway return time, Rob? Oh, man. It'd be nice if he came back. I, I made this point the other day, Goodman. You got a lot of guys that shoot a lot of shots that are going to miss a lot of shots. And you need someone to clean up the <laughs> offensive true. glass. So yeah. Oscar Shibuya yeah. would average 17 offensive rebounds a game if he played with Robert Dillingham and DJ Wagner. Um, I I'm very curious to see what this program will look like this season, right? Because you have a lot of guys that are highly rated freshmen, assuming all five of them uh make it to campus. Reed Shepard, Robert Dillingham, DJ Wagner, Justin Edwards, and Aaron Bradshaw. Um, but I don't there's not a ton of like great shooters. There's not a ton of guys that have, if if Shibway doesn't come back, that have had proven high-level success at the college level. Like, are we betting on Chris Livingston to step up and be a big role player on a dude Thoreau to, to step up when he has maybe four guys playing in they front gotta of They got to have Reeves back. They got to yeah. have Reeves back. Have yeah, to. You, you need Reeves back. And I think if Shibway isn't there, you need, like, a big season from you going to Kingsley um, on Yeso. Our partner for today's episode is Athletic Greens. I started taking AG1 during the college basketball season, and I loved the impact that it had on my energy levels. I'm a big coffee in the morning guy, but by the time that the afternoon would hit, I needed another boost. AG1 helped me tremendously, especially on those days when I didn't want to get up off the couch and go hit the gym. Their tagline is, AG1 is comprehensive health and the power of habit in one, and man, that could not be more true it's nearly impossible to eat and drink in a healthy manner in the month of february and the month of march when you are in my business and ag1 was exactly the supplement that i needed to improve my gut health and cover my nutritional basis for the day i've continued that into april i've continued that into may and i'm going to continue that the rest of the summer all i have to do is mix a scoop of ag1 with some water or maybe add it into a smoothie and i'm ready to go do it after lunch and you'll be ready to go for the rest of the day if a comprehensive solution is what you need from your supplement routine, then Athletic Greens is giving you a free one-year supply of vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. Go to athleticgreens.com backslash field68. That's field68, F-I-E-L-D, the number six, the number eight, and you can get yours now. So check it out and help support this show. Thanks. Or you go, Bradshaw, I, I know nobody wants to hear this, but I, I might go, man, small and go Bradshaw at the five some and Do just that. go. Just absolutely get it and go because, again, they're not great shooters, so you want to get as much as you can in transition. They are young. They are athletic. I love Dillingham. He's super electric. He's fun to watch. Like, again, I just think they're like, you know, to me, they're high-volume, low-efficiency guys, him and, him, him and Wagner. Love Edwards on the wing. I, I think Bradshaw and Edwards are your two best pro prospects. So they have to all sorts of talent. But ultimately, what does young freshman talent usually land you? Well, it usually lands you an early exit in the NCAA tournament. And John Calipari's had a few of those lately. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's true. Um, if you were Kentucky and you had the option of Oscar Sheway back or you got Hunter Dickinson, is the answer Dickinson? Rob, I know you've had a lot of thoughts on Sheway being a limiting factor for Kentucky at times. Yeah, he's not really great defensively. And I made it, I said something about two weeks ago where I said I would rather have Sheway back than Hunter Dickinson. And I've had some time to think about that. And I would like to retract that statement and apologize. You want a mulligan? You want <laughs> I want a mulligan. mulligan. Yeah, uh, you want Hunter Dickinson. Uh, we'll give you one. Uh, okay. All right. <laughs> I agree uh, because Hunter can step out, Hunter can yes. space the court, Oscar cannot. Yeah. I think people should be prepared for uh, uh, maybe national people are expecting this more than people in my state of Michigan circles. I think Hunter's going to be awesome at Kansas. Me I just want to say that like there's, they're not going to need him to lead. They're just going to need him to show up, be an offensive force in a system that is great with centers. 
And it, all the other extra shit that happens with Hunter Dickinson is fine. It can happen at Kansas. Because Bill Self can deal with it. Bill right. Self will figure it out. He's Listen, he's had to coach the Morris twins, right. Thomas Robin, like a lot of dudes that, that haven't been uh, easy to coach. He'll and be able if to you want to talk about Dickinson. stuff going on around the program, they've literally spent the last six years dealing with this investigation into Adidas yes. and investigation into the FBI and stuff. Which, like, which, hey, guys, might be ending soon, by the way. I'm hearing we are ooh. coming close to the conclusion of, of the Kansas situation, Thank according to God. my wow. sources. As soon as we get past the stupid FBI investigation, the biggest waste of time, think about this, the biggest waste, college athletics has done a lot of dumb stuff and had a lot of wastes of time. This has been the biggest waste of time in the history of college athletics. Get it over. Yes. It. It's a joke. Rob, what's dumber, the FBI investigation or being the Alabama head baseball coach and calling your friend to tell him to <laughs> okay, place a ten thousand okay. dollar bet? <laughs> Second dumbest. Second. Dumbest. Was it ten grand? Is that what it was? Ten grand. It was. It was. Some, I just. I just threw that number out there. It was something like that. It was a very. You don't know. Number. You should. Know you should look into it. Under wraps. Thank you for watching the Field of Sixty Eight. If you've enjoyed what you've seen here, hit that like button, share this link with your friends, or check out the description for some other places that you can consume Field of Sixty Eight content.